My dear Georgie, I have the time and the inclination. Allow me the privilege of sharing a little secret with you. As you grow older, you will start to notice how boys tell you that you run like a girl, or you fight like a girl, or that you do all manners of things like a girl, as though doing anything like a girl is a bad thing. You will watch movies or television programs, or even current news reports that document the devastation that some men experience upon discovering that their partners have given birth to a female baby instead of a boy. As a child, you will not fully comprehend how this kind of information impacts you or your psyche, but you will store it away for future reference. You will begin to notice that the girls the same age as you, girls you go to school with or hang with, at ballet class or karate class, have started to become obsessed with their appearance. It will slowly drive you to begin focusing on your own appearance. You will start to judge yourself harshly. You will evaluate your own face, your weight, you will pit yourself against the most unrealistic of images peddled in the media and expect yourself to attain such dizzying levels of perfection. You will start to believe that perhaps your looks really are more important than anything else in the world because nobody seems to spend half the amount of time focusing on your achievements at school or your artistic endeavours or in being a great friend as they do complimenting you for looking pretty. You will start to notice that even though you were taught by your mother that it is not what you look like, it's who you are as a person that counts, you will secretly begin to harvest the notion that you've been fed a line of complete horseshit. <laughs> as a young woman, you will start to notice that when your friends get married, they casually toss away their family name without a second's thought, as though it holds no value whatsoever. They will cheerily proceed to take on the mantle of their husband's family name. The subtle and insidious inference here is that his name holds more importance or value than hers. You will start to wonder why your lovely just married young friend is now referred to as a missus. This will appall you because missus is actually an abbreviation of misters, which in turn is an abbreviation of the phrase belonging to mister. The subtle insidious inference here is that women are, ob are objects and they belong to men. So Georgie, my darling, what I'm trying to say here is this. You do everything you damn well choose and carry on doing it just like a girl. Do it like a girl and do it good and damn the person who tells you it's of lesser importance or value than your male counterpart. Worry not that you do things differently from your male friends. See it merely as achieving the same thing, utilizing a different style. Expect to be paid the same as a man for doing the same job. If you're not compensated equally, make a stink. If the stink does not change a thing, call me and we will organize, galvanize, and get all militant on their ass. <laughs> Fight for your rights, demand equality, seek legal recourse, don't take it sitting down. And above all, my darling Georgie girl, run free, run wild. Be who you want to be, be bold, be fearless. You're as good as the next man and don't you ever forget it. Don't waste your life and your energy worrying about your weight or your face. Instead, spend your life learning about all the incredible, wondrous things out there in this big, bright world. Broaden your mind, expand your horizons, push limitations and travel as much as possible. Fill your life with good books, excitement, discovery and adventure. All this and more is within your grasp. I know this because I see that light, that spirit, that fight in you. And I know you will grow to recognize it in yourself because you come from a long line of warrior women. From your great grandmothers, your grandmothers, your formidable mother, your father, who I'm proud to proclaim is also a feminist, your magical brother, and all your aunties, uncles, and cousins. We all have your back, but you will do well to remember with great power comes great responsibility. Use it well. I love you more than you will ever know. Yours truly, Auntie Shirley. Thank you.